Good morning, you guys. We're going to take a quick break from editing the very long spray session that we did yesterday. The first part has dropped. Ended up, I'm doing definitely a two-part. Um, it's a lot of information, so I might split it up into equal threes. Um, the first segment, I think, is about yeah, 28, 28 minutes. Um, you guys are, I'm already getting a lot of really good feedback from it. Thank you guys so much for spending time with the channel, and, and I hope you guys are able to learn some stuff and take away a few tips but you guys have already seen all this this is currently getting dressed and getting ready to go out the door um, but you guys haven't seen this so let's do a real quick workshop update uh, some of this stuff as a matter of fact um all of this stuff down here um we featured in the the video that's out coming out this weekend um, in the spray session on uh, different stencils and layering and stuff like that so let's go ahead and jump right into it and with the with the wiggle words, you know, they were the intention was to just learn from them, but I might go ahead and maybe throw a couple of auctions out there. This has got some pretty cool shading. And the uh, the white pupil part of the eyes on this, it's just done with a Q-tip and some opaque base white. I use Createx, and like you guys all know, it's not just the Createx. It's a blend. Very solid. But this was the pattern that I wanted to show how to do scaling with the tooling. So cool colors, definitely fish catcher. This one is using the Pelon Wonder Web. I also showed you guys how to neat little trick for doing pupils on these eyes. And of course, wiggle warts, they don't come with eyes that you can press on like most baits do. You have to paint the eyes on. There's a few baits out there that are like that. Um, spooks, the uh, the spooks, and some of the Sammies and stuff don't come with. You have to just paint the eyes. So these are amazing walleye colors. I'm looking at all these, going, "Wow, I think walleye would crush these." Um, but the bass will too. The red version. And then we did a hard stencil spray on this. It does have some translucent qualities to it. You hold it up to the light see through that we did a fire tiger pattern on that so that's fun crawls are always fun to show how to do I love showing my crawl pattern because it's original it's my own hand cut stencil and uh, also showed you guys the, uh, the the taking the tip off of the airbrush trick on this one so that's that video the second part should be dropping later on this afternoon um, Sundays are always fun around Jekyll Bates. I get to call home, call my mom, and see how things are going. But this is just, this is small mouth all day long on this one, especially in the Ozark waters that are primarily my home fishing areas. Cool, cool patterns. And I always like to do the bottom scaling right through the bill. Just makes it a little bit more believable showed some 2d stencils i think we used some art tools for this one this is a reverse tiger striping or zebra striping pattern and i showed you how to lay that in but instead of doing a white pattern with black stripes we did a black pattern and overlaid a silver white onto it which you can do even though dark colors are easily absorbed and they kind of eat lighter colors you can do it you just have to learn how and i taught you so hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy that when it drops today as well. And then of course, if you've watched the video, the first part, you saw the Easter egg, which is how to get these really cool 3D effects on your lure. It makes it look like it's raised up. So those are fun. So I taught you how to do that yesterday. So go watch those videos if you haven't. Just another, this is the fire tiger. Well, the green, yellow, and then orange on the belly. So that's what's pretty much going on. We have the black gold. And some of this stuff is going out to customers this morning. Actually, tomorrow morning, today is Sunday. Just a real simple bone shad, but super, super effective. And then one of my favorite patterns to spray in the summer on these uh, these Pop Max blanks is the American Bullfrog. Large and small mouth alike, they like to munch this particular pattern. 
So there you have it. Five minutes. Wow. Usually they're much longer. You guys have a great one. We'll see you on the second part of the stencil spray session coming out later today and talk to you soon.